So I am currently sitting in the car at the park and we are on chapter 9 of this book that we've been reading for far too long. It has 10 chapters and we're going to finish it today. We're in the middle of chapter 9. How Tia Lola came to stay. I think my kids are really enjoying this book and I'm glad that we're about to be finished with it so we can move on to something else. I can tell that they are enjoying enjoying reading no before I start reading it again I do want to say that I made some curriculum for this book really nice curriculum um, I only did it for a few chapters I didn't do it for every chapter so I really don't want to take the book back because I want to do a curriculum on it but you know it is what it is I'll, I'll let it go Mom. But that's what we're reading. Huh? Yes. Every time when my teeth get cold, when I drink this cold drink, it it always like this. It always be like this. Sit back. So I'm about to get back to reading. We're on chapter, no, I'm sorry, chapter 9, page 128. And then after we're done, can we play in the box? No. The sun has long set by the time they rise from the rocks and head back toward the car. The crickets have started up. Far off, a dog, or maybe it's a coyote, barks. As the wind, I mean, as the car winds, I cannot read. As the car winds its way down the mountain road, Miguel and Juanita sit in the back seat trying to stay awake. They want to see the first twinkling lights of houses as they come into town. In the front seat, their aunt and their mother are talking. Maybe we can all go back this winter, Mommy is saying. It will be good for the kids to meet the family and learn more about the island. I have a great idea, Tia Lola says, lowering her voice. Now that Miguel and Juanita have learned so much Spanish, Tia Lola cannot speak in Spanish if she doesn't want them to understand. Vague, whispery sounds drift to the back seat as their aunt plans the next surprise treat for the family. What could it be? Miguel and Juanita wonder. They want to lean forward and eavesdrop, but their bodies have he feel heavier and heavier. They are falling deeper and deeper into sleep. Dreaming of their father painting white tents in the sky, their mother and Tia Lola flying like parrots south to an island full of purple houses and swaying palms. Sometime later, the car rolls to a stop. A door opens, another one closes. Hands stir them awake and sweet familiar voices call out to them. Miguel, Juanita, Desperantinsi, ya legamos a casa. Wake up, we're already home. And I know I told it up. Oh, the Spanish. <laughs> Chapter 10, you got it right? La Napa. Oh, Chapter 10 is called La Napa. Um, That's a lot of pages. Not really. They don't seem like they mean to me. Um, and another thing about this book, which I've said before, there's a lot of Spanish in here, which is why I really do want to do the curriculum for this because I want to pull all the Spanish words out of here. But anyway. No, that's not what I'm talking about. 